you have to learn from that pain and then okay disconnect it but because you're not experienced you're neophyte and you've now created toxic thinking because of rushing into a market move or day like fomc or not farm payroll you have poisoned your perception of how price is going to deliver and i know some of you are thinking damn this, this guy nailed me man that's exactly what the fuck happened to me and i never really understood it until now yes i've done this to myself before and it takes a lot of undoing to correct it that means time that's why i tell you these things that's why i make the videos the way i do that's why i talk to you the way i talk to you because i have lived this shit, folks i've lived it i know how hard it is to fix the problems but some of you just simply want to do the shit and like hey you know i don't want you to have the same kind of shit that i went through why would you want to do that don't you want to be the person that said you know what i listened to everything he said avoided the shit he said to avoid and i'm doing it better and i don't have any issues man that's what i want to hear that's why i'm mentoring i'm mentoring like that because i want to hear a student say that i've not had one student do that yet hundreds of thousands of students not one of them has come forward and said you know what <laughs> you know i listened to all your shit and uh i, I don't want to go through that i'm going to listen to the lessons that are going to be the most uncomfortable ones to listen to because guess what that's the stuff that's going to break me you're that person okay it's not the market maker that's getting you it's the person in the mirror you've done your own ass you did that you're all doing something all all of you are doing something individually that's holding you back i don't give a shit how well you're doing right now you all are doing something that's having a negative impact on your growth and that's why it's important that you journal and you don't realize what those things are until you go back and look at what you, is you're doing you keep doing things over and over again and they're having a negative response the results are showing less than optimal mind that figure out what it is you're doing something doesn't feel right and you're just bothered by it that kind of stuff can materialize and manifest itself in your decision making in the marketplace because you'll come to these marketplaces like a, a, a way of escaping living a, a different life and sometimes you can talk yourself into thinking you're james bond walk out here and find out <laughs> no <laughs> no you're nothing like that and uh you need a stretcher so when you have these poor decisions to come in here and try to find a, a way of fixing yourself and feeling good the worst thing you can do is try to do that on a day like today because you're not going to fix yourself okay you're not going to fix yourself on a day like this it's going to do a lot of harm more harm than you realize and it's not going to be noticeable to you until you trade after this day like you're not even if you made money the toxic aspects of this type of day when you don't have proper experience doing all what is i'm teaching you these ideas will again manifest themselves in your typical bread and butter day see these are the reasons why i talk to you the way i talk to you like this and you don't like it because it doesn't give you that puffed up feeling but these are the ones that matter the most these types of discussions these lectures these woodshed moments these are the very things that i did my own ass with period i did these things dozens of times and it resulted in blown accounts drawdown that took weeks to fix i've done those things folks and honestly it, you don't need to do it there you can do all these things that gets to the point of consistency and profitability and never experience these types of things it's possible i'm telling you it's possible but you don't want to listen and it's frustrating to me as a mentor because like i'm not lying to you i told you like dude <laughs> i've blown accounts before i've lost money doing these types of things why would you want to try to do something like this <laughs> all these things all these things are negative thoughts so if you're taking up time and you're acknowledging that thought and giving it 
you know, your attention. How many times are you doing it a day, inside of one day? Now imagine doing this while you're in a trade. Oh, shit. That's heavy, ain't it? From the time you enter that trade, how many times are you thinking, this fucker is going to go against me? It's way off the scales. If you're, if you're in there for a length of time, you're thinking a lot, this is going to turn on me. This is going to fail. Oh, I better not take the partial air. Oh, did I, I should have got in here. I should have done this. I should have done that. That's all negative thinking. So if you don't master yourself, this business is going to warp you. And you can have a profitable model because you all have it now. You can have something that has stats. You have it now. You have proof. People making real money all around the world, climbing to the top of FTMO leaderboards. You don't see anybody else. Just like I'm trying to create in you. You are your own fucking army. You're an army of one. You don't need me to be your fucking general. You don't need me to be your team fucking captain that tells you what you need to be doing today. You don't need that shit. You have no excuse that this stuff works. You have all the evidence now that it works. But you're trying to do things that's going to do what? Invite more negative thinking. Toxic thinking. The model that works. It's very few rules to it. You have a specific time of day to look for the setups. That's trading. That is trading. Having rules, a process, and following it. And accepting the fact that sometimes you're going to do it wrong and lose money. Guess what? That's what everybody endures. You have to go through that. And don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of that experience of, I thought I did everything right, but I lost. See, you're, you're trying to find the video where I cover how to avoid that. When the video I put out was handling drawdown and an inevitable loss or losing streaks, something to that effect. So I'm telling you, you're going to lose money. You're going to absolutely lose money. You're going to have losing trades. You're going to have everything in the chart indicate to you that it is likely to do a specific thing. And you're going to find the courage to push the button. And when it happens, it fails. It fails. What's the it? You. You did it. Your decision was wrong. The concepts didn't fail. The market didn't do you wrong. You made a decision that was inaccurate. And you have to own that. And there is liberation. When a trader comes to that mindset and says, you know what? I didn't do that right. But guess what? It doesn't change anything. It just means that I had to pay for that mistake. And that mistake gives me experience. And then when I make money in the next trade or the trades after this, and I come back from that drawdown, it will be an encouragement to me that all this was was a skin knee. I got a boo-boo. I got a paper cut. It didn't remove my head cleanly and lose my account or make it impossible for me to trade again. You didn't remove your arsenal. Pay attention. Really pay attention to this and reflect on it. And, and are you making these decisions with these thought processes in mind? And if you are, I'm challenging you to think about why you're doing that. Because most of you aren't really here to make money for the money set, you know, the, the money side of it. You want to have attention. You want to feel empowered. You want to feel appreciated by other people. And you think that that's self-worth, and that's not. That's fake. And I learned that the hard way. I have a lot of scars. Like you have, you may have a father and a mother that you were raised by. I didn't have that. So I have a lot of built-in hostility. I have reasons to prove myself. Because everybody said I was going to be just like him. And in a lot of ways, most of my childhood was me building this idea in my head that I got I to 
I got to become something that's going to make them regret how they neglected me. And that's what wired me to be who I am. Because I wish I had this coming up. I try to be, I, and I don't think of myself as a superhero. I don't think of myself as a rock star. But I try to be the very thing I prayed I had growing up. Somebody to look up to that really genuinely wanted to see me succeed because there was a motherfucker that wanted to see me succeed. They were all waiting for me to fail so they can come around and like hyenas and fucking laugh in my face. And I knew it. And I did everything I fucking could. Multiple jobs, worked on weekends, fucking studied my ass off. Everything I ever did, I excelled in. Everything. Martial arts, yep. Weightlifting, yep. Businesses, yep. Trading, the fucking best, baby. The best. And there ain't a motherfucker ever going to be better than me. That's how it's always been. But what pushed me here was the fact that there was nobody. Nobody. Not one motherfucker said, you can do that. Everybody said I was going to fail. Every single person said I was going to fail. Now, <laughs> being the person that I am, all these things that would otherwise be handicaps in other people's eyes, mental illness. I used them as strengths. I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay. I'm going to put myself in fucking charts until I figure this shit the fuck out. Nothing else matters but this. And yes, I was willing to let relationships, family, everything fail around me until I got this. First marriage failed. My children, I was not the best father. They were provided for, but they didn't have my time and my attention. They'd be talking to me about what they're excited about. And I'm looking at charts, nodding my head like I heard what they said. I didn't hear a fucking thing my children said to me. I was a terrible dad. Terrible. So you see me as someone that's amazing doing this. But none of you would have paid what I paid to get it. And I'm not proud of it. So this is the end of this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, very grateful for the fact that you watched it all the way to the end. For me personally, this message corresponded so much with my journey. And I truly hope that there's someone else out there that also finds great benefit in these type of videos. I thank you for watching this video. I wish you a great day. And we'll talk soon again. Be safe.